Oh, hello guys! Welcome back! Merry Christmas! Um, we had a good Christmas. Shut up, Loki. Loki's happy because some of the amusements we got may not be suitable for YouTube, so he's happy. And we got a Christmas present from YouTube. They got rid of some subscribers. Um, what had happened is they decided that we had spam. We had spam bots. I think everybody got this on YouTube. We had um, spam subscribers. So if you're unsubscribed, that was not me. I did not unsubscribe you. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to be subscribed. Check the notification bell, blah, blah, blah. And I went and I'm like, I wonder if they banned these people too, just in case. I have over 100 banned people. I found two legitimate subscribers that must have had nothing to say for a while. <laughs> like two people I recognize. So I, I rescued two of you. I wasn't sure about the rest, so if you're still not getting it answered, I'm either legitimately not getting your messages, because that's a common thing now too. I will see I have four or six messages on a video, and I'm like, oh boy, and I'll go and there's nothing. I'll log out and check my channel, and there's still nothing. So I can't subscribe, it, uh, explain it, guys, other than YouTube. I'm, I'm speaking to good English today, and I'm like on my third cup of coffee too. But, you know, we're having a good one. We still are celebrating it. It, to me, is more to do with Odin and Loki and all the other gods and goddesses. And we played some music today and we were dancing around. We were having fun. Um, and we'll still go see your friend. I'm still decompressing from the church, Loki. No. Loki, no. He's like telling the Jeffrey Dahmer story. The pastor used Jeffrey Dahmer as an example of a good Christian. I'm so sorry. And even though the other inmates killed him, it was okay because he found Jesus and God loves everyone. <laughs> and the All Father is behind me. I swear to the guys, he's sitting behind me because the church is mostly empty. So I feel like everybody wandering around in there. He's like, yeah, I loved him even better when he was dead. Ah! <laughs> But I can't do it physically, so I'm just like, come on, or shut up. <laughs> and Loki is losing it, because he's like, Jeffrey Dahmer's a Christian, ah, at least he's not one of mine. And he's like, you know, almost falling out of the pew, because he's rolling on his side laughing. I'm like, oh my god, just stop. And I went around the internet, and I went on a journey, but I think what this past year was all about, and all the confusion that we've all got to go through, is that, uh, you know, there comes a time when we have to realize that every website, every channel, and yes, I'm including this channel, is someone else's journey. And we can journey together, but you shouldn't feel obliged to journey as I do, and I shouldn't feel obliged to journey as you do. Um, the only church I've ever seen that makes any damn sense is a universalist church, which is exactly what it sounds like. They don't believe in original sin. Yay. So I like them already. They don't believe in hell, because what kind of loving God will throw you into hell if God is love? You know, why would he throw you in hell? And they believe you can believe whatever you want. If you want to be an atheist and go to church and be with people, as long as you're not a jerk about it, fine, go to church. They don't care. So they're open to atheists and pagans and Buddhists, so witches can go to church. I'm like, this is cool. And they really don't judge people. I have no idea what the hell they actually preach about, but <laughs> apparently it's pretty loose. And I'm like, that's neat. Because they, they celebrate original, original blessing or something instead of original sin. I forget what it was. But I'm like, that's pretty cool because it's actually a lot more in line with the pagan gods. And Dionysus has been dancing around because that's a church that there's a woman that writes articles every so often. That she talks about, yes, yeah, she serves Jesus in the church, but she serves Dionysus when she um, goes to work in the theater. And she doesn't see anything wrong with that or any division that there shouldn't be because they're all gods anyhow. And I'm like, that's more in line with what I think. I really don't care. They're all gods. I, if they want to work with me, great. If they don't want to work with me, if they're grumpy today, that's fine, too. <laughs> I'm hearing back. Can we get pizza? The gas station's open. We're, go we're going for Christmas dinner in a couple hours. Still on pizza. Ah. <laughs> Anyhow, I know that was definitely Dionysus with the um, recording equipment because that's all theatrical stuff. And it was just too good. 
a ch chance to pass out. Um, I think that's why I've never felt anything in a church and why a lot of witches never feel stuff and people who think they're an atheist but they're confused because they know God exists don't feel anything in church. Because the God they make up doesn't exist. There's no God out there. There's no boogeyman God. <laughs> don't help. There's no boogeyman God that's going to send you to hell. There's no boogeyman God that sent unbaptized babies to hell. There's no boogeyman God that hates these people or hates these people or doesn't love those people. That God doesn't exist. That's why he never shows up in church, because he doesn't exist. But you do feel this curious, intelligent presence that's like, hey, hey, you've been getting it wrong for 2,000 years, but I believe in you. <laughs> um, So I think that they're lucky that their God kind of takes care of them, even though they've got it totally wrong. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Christians, but I never, you guys know I'm open on this channel, I never believed in sin. I never believed in God-hating women. I never believed in God-hating gay people. It has nothing to do with being woman or being gay either. Um, I just never believed in all this. I didn't believe God really gave a shit if you got a divorce or if you married 10 people or you didn't marry anyone at all or you went to church or not. And God doesn't need money. The only reason I gave a donation yesterday, even though I know they're going to take it for Christian uses, is that um, it was honoring my dead ancestors. My dead Catholic ancestors got honored in a Methodist church. I'm sure they will be thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> I hear God's laughing back there. But yeah, guys, it's um, it's been a journey for a lot of us this year because I think we're being pushed to see what do we truly believe and what do we naturally go towards instinctually, not what is somebody screaming at us to believe, not what is somebody saying, if you don't believe this, you can't call yourself that. Who cares? Who made them an authority? Seriously, who made them an authority? I'm authority over no one. Nobody answers to me. <laughs> Um, so it's just, it's a good time of the year to reflect and kind of go, <sighs> and if you are bored AF, a lot of stuff is open. YouTube's always open. You can go shopping online. A lot of restaurants and stores are open because they're like, screw it. We're going to be open Christmas day because not everybody celebrates Christmas. So yeah, we're going to continue enjoying our day. We're going to continue watching videos. We want to, um you know, VR, and VR had already given us all the presents super early. There were a couple loot boxes that dropped down because we had had queued playtime, but um, there was no Christmas surprise because they gave us all the surprises early, which was a bit of a downer, but there you go. Now I got enough damn throw pillows at my virtual house that I could just start I could become the throw pillow serial killer because there's just a hundred damn Christmas pillows in that place. <laughs> it's like, what the hell do they expect me to do with this stuff? I know you can have people come visit you, but damn, does everybody need their own Christmas pillow? What the hell? But we got one highlight we thought you want to see. Little baby manatee, so we got a little tiny manatee on a little stick. Um, it's it is actually lollipop. I don't know if we'll ever actually eat the lollipop, but so cute, so many cutes. I mean, the whole thing that sells the manatee is being a manatee on a stick. So yeah, we probably won't eat it, but. We hope you guys are doing well. So yeah, if you've been unsubscribed, it was nothing I did to you personally. If you're not getting through in the comments, I'm not surprised because I was like, why the hell did everybody stop commenting? I didn't ban these people. Um, you know, they're not stopped from commenting. What, what the actual hell? So it might just be a YouTube thing. So if you haven't been getting through, that is why. If I ban people, they usually, I think, probably know it. But yeah, I rescued two people that I recognized. The rest, I'm like really not sure about. I think they were here for a hot minute and they left. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to rescue too many people and make you too angry. But I did rescue two people, so lucky too. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys are still having a happy Yule. Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa. Hanukkah's over. The volley's over, but whatever you're celebrating, we hope you're having a good one. Bye-bye.